Hi, you guys. How are you doing? There's Sarah. Hello, there's Lisa. Good. You can hear my audio, okay? I can hear you just fine, girlfriend. Yes, you are good to go. Okay. Back on mute. Yes, I'm going to let some people jump on here, give them a chance to get this party started. Okay. Let's remind people that we're getting started. Now, somebody sounds like they're outside or something, but that's okay. Well, I will mute everybody's lines um, so that the only person who's in the is is that'll be just fine. Okay. <laughs> sounds like someone's on an airplane. <laughs> just muted all the lines so that way that so anybody so you guys who are speaking tonight you'll have to unmute your lines so when it's your turn okay so let's see Amy's on Jess is on Erica's on Sarah's on okay so all of our our ladies who are taking over tonight are on so that's good news okay so we have our um our, our highlights tonight you guys are on that's good all right so it's 902 um, we're going to go ahead and get this started in just a moment. Glad you guys are here. I'm excited. Okay. So there's the link. Everything's ready. Okay. Let's see, I've got my notes. So tonight I've got Amy, then Erica, Jessica, then Sarah. So you guys are good to go on that. So I'll introduce each of you guys before you get started. So it's not like, Amy, you have to intro Erica or anything like that. So, you know, I'll get that started. So you just kind of let me know when you're done. I'm not going to necessarily like watch your time and cut you off at five minutes. But um, if you start going on for 10 or so, I'll be like, oh, okay, let's wrap it up. Okay. So no big deal. No big deal at all. Okay. So we'll figure it out as we go. I'm just excited for you guys to share tonight. I think it's going to be awesome. Okay. All right, so we are recording, so we're going to go ahead and get this awesome team call started. So you guys, hello, it is August 15th. I cannot believe we're halfway through the month. It's Team Cup month, and a lot of you guys are crushing your goals, and I have to be honest, some of you guys are like hitting walls, and you're hitting obstacles, and you, you're you still like so positive, and you're, you're still wanting to like fight for it, and you're going for it, and tonight I think this is the perfect call because... I've invited four amazing coaches on our team from all different levels of experience. And um, they're going to share with you what's working right now. And I think it's good because I know that for me, that I've been in this business for five years. And I tell you what, I legit do not do the same thing every single month. Like I'm always tweaking and changing and evolving and, and paying attention to what my audience is telling me and what other coaches are saying. And I mean, I'm always changing what I'm doing. I don't know if I've ever done the same thing every single month. So I think tonight's good because you're going to hear some ideas and you're going to hear some tangible action steps on perhaps maybe a little bit of what you could do to tweak maybe your approach or your mindset to what you're doing in your business right now to make sure that you finish the month strongly. Because I know that you guys hit some pretty awesome, amazing and high goals this month. I did too. And a lot of you are still like, okay, like when's that going to happen? Well, we first know that we have to take serious action and intentional action. And we have to take almost like do more work than what we thought we needed to do to make that happen. But we want to make sure, and you're willing to do that work. I know you are, but you want to make, you want to feel confident about it. And you want to make sure that what you're doing is going to pay off in the end. And I hope that tonight you hear something that connects with you that says, okay, I'm doing the right thing or, oh, okay, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to tweak it a little bit to, to do what Amy said or Sarah said or whatever. And I think it's going to be really awesome. Um, but before we do that, I just want to remind you of a couple of things. Like I'm not going to get into a lot of announcements or anything like that, but we have a few things coming up that I want you to be aware of. Okay. So, um, 
Let's see. I wrote some dates down. Okay. So September the 5th is our Tuesday. September the 5th is our next team call. And that is the Tuesday after Labor Day. It also happens to be the day that Sagi's new program, Hard Labor, is going to launch on Beachbody On Demand. So that's something to have on your calendar. So I imagine most of you will be finished with your second round of, of Shift Shop. And so that is something I'm going to be doing as hard labor that week after Labor Day because it's a week of transition for me where I'm not really like in a challenge group or anything's going on. So I'm going to be doing that program. September 11th is something I want you to write down. Okay. I'm asking you to be part of a team wide, like downline wide three day refresh with me. Okay. Like I'm feeling pretty good about my nutrition right now. But I'm thinking that like after two rounds of shift shop and then a week off around Labor Day, I'm going to need something to dial me back in. Okay. And so I'm going to kick off, I'm going to lead a three-day refresh on our team page. Okay. This is also something that I'm sharing with all of my potential coaches right now. Okay. All of my Beachbody On Demand All Access members who really should upgrade to being a coach because they love their Shakeology. They're getting an awesome discount right now that's expiring because their 10% discount is going to expire at the end of this month. That promotion ends. And so they love their Shakeology. They love the community. They love being in challenge group. They've done one or two different challenge groups. It's time to upgrade to a coach. And so I'm recommending that they all upgrade to a coach with a three-day refresh challenge pack. So that way they're ready to go to do our team-wide three-day refresh on September the 11th with me and with our team. And it's something that a lot of people are excited about. So I wanted to share it with you because I'm not going to be leading a three-day refresh on the My Challenge Tracker, okay? But I'm going to check in with you guys every day on the team page to keep you going and, and, and check in with everybody that's going to be doing a three-day refresh. And I think it'd be pretty awesome if a majority of our coaches are doing the same thing where our team page becomes like a challenge group for three days, September 11, 12, and 13. Like, I think that could be really cool. But I also think it could be a really cool way to get some new coaches in to see like that being a coach does bring more support and accountability, that it does bring a greater tribe, that it does bring a different level of commitment, you know, to your journey. And so that's something that I'm working on. And I wanted to share and invite you to so that you could be a part of that too. So maybe within your challenge groups, you know, September 11, 12, 13, you're also promoting that they do a three-day refresh with you after Labor Day. You know, that you help them get started. You do a week of hard labor. I think, isn't that what it's called? Labor of love, hard labor, something like that. I don't know. Siggy's program. You know, but you guys all do that after Labor Day, starting that Tuesday after gearing up, and then you do a three-day refresh. Get your nutrition in check. They're going to do it alongside of you. Now, it may not be your favorite thing. It may not be my favorite thing. It may not be what I exactly want to do right now or commit to right now, but I know a couple of things. I know being a product of the product is huge. I know that the 3D refresh is amazing for my clients. I know that it's that challenge that kind of takes you to that next level with your nutrition. And I also know that it helps me dial things in and other people dial things in. So I know that me committing to it makes other people probably want to commit to it more too. So I'm going to be a product of the product even if it's not my number one priority, the number one thing I want to do, because I know that it's going to benefit the people who do it. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to share that with you. I also wanted to share with you September 15th, if you haven't noticed this yet, like it's starting to trickle down. Julie Boris, my upline superstar diamond coach is having, she's hosting a leadership, what is she calling it? Like a leadership training, virtual training um, with Keyshawn Graves from corporate. And she's hosting that on Friday, September 15th from 10 a.m. to noon. And it's something that you have to qualify for to be able to be a part of this leadership training. And you've got to be an Emerald or higher coach and achieve success club in the month of August to get an invitation to, a, to attend this live virtual training with Beachbody Corporate and some other cool people that she's not really identified who's going to be on this training, but she knows some pretty cool people. So I think it's going to be worth working really hard on. So I know a lot of you have some really awesome goals during the team cup. You want to advance rank. You want to hit success club. You want to help a certain number of lives. I think this is just kind of icing on the cake for that. 
to make sure that you are an Emerald or higher coach. You have two or more coaches on your team and you also achieve success club five. I don't know how you achieve five anymore. So I'm going to say success club six, you help three people or more in the month of August. You're going to get an invitation to, uh, to attend, to be able to call into and be a part of this virtual leadership training with Beachbody Corporate. So that's a really big deal. So I want you to put that on your calendar, share it with your team cup. Yesterday I did a live video on the Fit Fighter Nation page and in that strand of comments, there's a graphic there with that information you can pull and share with your team cup, sharing your team pages. The last thing I wanna remind you guys about is the September 33rd, sorry, September 23rd Super Saturday. In Indianapolis and all across the United States, all major cities and markets will be hosting a Super Saturday for Beachbody Corporate. This is something you wanna make sure you are in attendance. If you live in the Indianapolis area, you're in driving distance, you're like five hours or less from Indiana, I want you to be at the Indianapolis Super Saturday. It's gonna be in downtown Indy. Carl Deichler will be here. Joe Cardone will be here. I mean, it's gonna be an incredible event. We're gonna have a diamond only training. You gotta be an active diamond coach, not lifetime, but active diamond. Like your coach online office says diamond on September the 23rd when you walk in the door. And you gotta make sure you're that so you can be part of that exclusive training that's gonna happen. So that is something I want you to push for. I'm gonna reach out to your leaders for you know, just support and accountability on how to make that happen. I know a lot of you guys are fighting for that. And I will tell you what, you know what, if you just continue like actively pursuing your business every single day and you continue putting those vibes into the universe that you're here to help people, but more than that, you're here to build a team and you're here to extend your reach out and teach people how to do the same awesome things happen and you will build to that diamond or higher, but you got to put that energy into the universe every day and manifest that. I know for me is that when I was an Emerald coach, I was, I seriously pretended in my head and visualized and saw myself achieving diamond. I am a diamond. I am a diamond. I am worthy of this. I can do this. Erin, you can do this. Like I built myself up on that every single day because I knew it was important. I knew that it was valuable in my business and I wanted to be part of the cool kids club. I wanted to be part of the diamond club. I wanted to be able to attend special leadership events. I wanted to be able to be a part of special calls and trainings that were, were for diamonds and above. I wanted to surround myself with those people. So you guys, I want you to make that a goal of yours to get to diamond. And if it doesn't happen by September 23rd, fine, but set a goal date for yourself this year to make it happen. There's no reason why you can't. There's so many amazing things that are happening right now. There's so many people that need help. There's so many people that want to help other people and want to serve others. So I want you to make sure that that is a goal of yours and that you are communicating with your diamond upline or star diamond upline on a plan of action. And you guys are working together on a weekly basis. Like I want you to take it upon yourself to say to your coach, to your upline, your star diamond, can we meet every week so that you can help me stay on track? So you can hold me accountable to the actions that it's going to take you guys. It's a big deal. Okay. And we're going to have some diamond training that kind of comes out in the month of September, but I want to put this in your head right now, because if you are, seriously very like you are so serious about achieving diamond you're serious about taking your business to that next level ask for support weekly support from your diamond upline you know what you're not going to put them out and they want to help you and they're waiting for you to say i'm ready i need you i want you to help me hold hold me accountable to these actions that'll move my business forward like know that okay please all right and i want you to just run with it run with it Okay, so I'm done now. Let's get this party started. Okay, so tonight we have tips from the trenches. Okay, which means I've asked some coaches who are doing a lot of things right to share with us what that is. Because I'm even like, what are you guys doing? What are you saying? What are you reading? What are you thinking? Because you are killing it right now. You guys are doing an awesome job. So um, I asked tonight Amy Eklund. I hope I'm saying your last name right. Erica Buzzard. Jessica Johnson and Sarah Morris to join us tonight to share some tips from the trenches. I've asked them all to prepare five minutes of something that's working for them right now. Now I can't guarantee you that we're going to have time for questions, but if you do have a question for any of our coaches, please include it in the chat box below. This is recording. We're going to post it to the team page. If we want to continue the discussion to the team page, by all means, let's do that. But you guys, let's be 100% focused while these coaches are sharing tonight. 
Let's give them our undivided attention. Let's put everything else to the side and be fully present because they're a little nervous. They're pushing themselves out of their comfort zones and they showed up tonight for you. So I want you to show up tonight for them for just a few more minutes. Okay. So five minutes each and because this matters and I would have asked them to do this if I didn't think it matters. If they didn't have something valuable to share. Okay. So I, I encourage you to do that tonight. Okay. So here's what I'm going to ask you guys when you start. Okay. So I'm going to ask you when you started as a coach, Okay, so if you can remember like the month and the date, okay, the month and the year, you don't remember the date, um, what it was about coaching that intrigued you, okay, and what it is about coaching that you love at this point, and then you can go into what is your like main point of what's working for you right now. So when you started, what made you say yes, and what is it that you love about coaching so far, okay, and then you can jump into your, your training tip tonight. Okay, so Amy. You are first, my friend. Take it away. I'm so excited. Okay. Can everybody hear me okay? All right. So, wow, you, you threw out the questions there, Erin. <laughs> okay. So, um, so I started coaching in January of 2016. Um, a little bit about me. I'm a full-time librarian. I'm married. I'm a dog mom. And I live in Atlanta, actually. So I'm nowhere near where most of you are. Um, my upline coach is Sarah Stucker. And we met at music camp, like, back in high school. And we kept up with each other. Um, but... You know, I saw her posting on Facebook about her journey, and at the time, um, this was September 2015, um, I'd been struggling for years with anxiety and depression, and just I was just kind of a mess, and I knew that I needed to change um, my, my health uh, and fitness journey was just sort of spotty throughout there and I'm, I was on medication and all sorts of other stuff, but I really needed to, you know, make changes in my life to get myself off of the meds and, and get on a healthier path. So, you know, fast forward to today. Um, so I've been a coach for about a little over a year and a half now. Um, and the thing about coaching is, I mean, immediately when I started doing challenge groups, I just felt like, oh my gosh, this is, this is great. This is, this gives me purpose, you know, and I just felt like all those other men and women in the group, um, had sort of helped me along and I wanted to help them and pay it forward. And I could just think of so many people in my life that, that needed this too. And so that's why I said yes to coaching and, and why I still do it every day. Um, you know, it's not for the guts and glory, right? What we're doing is not, <laughs> um, it's not sexy and it's not very exciting. Um, but I really enjoy the challenge group experience and running kick ass challenge groups and seeing people change their lives. So that's why I do what I do every day. Um, did I answer all the questions? I think I did. Okay. All right. So, um, all right, so my first year of coaching, first of all, I want to say what's working for me right now, my, my point of this talk is what's working for me right now has almost nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. It has everything to do with what I've been doing consistently for the past year and a half, okay? So let that sink in for a second. Um, I know Aaron and Erica and others have said this for a long time and, you know, it goes in one year and out the other. And, um, but, but what we're doing now takes at least three months to materialize in your business. So, um, what I'm working on right now might not even come to fruition until next year. And I realized that, and I'm not in a big hurry because like I said, I'm in this because I enjoy what I'm doing and it's fun and I'm helping people. So, um, so my first year of coaching went pretty well. I was a success starter and I helped a lot of people, but I didn't hit success club every month. However, regardless of, you know, the level of my success club earnings each month or whatever, I was laying the groundwork for the success that I'm having now and that I've had for, you know, since probably January of this year. Um, so what I do every day, okay, I stay on my own journey, number one. 
um, because I said yes to myself and I have to continue doing that if I'm gonna help other people. Um, I share my journey on social media. Um, I'm an introvert, so um, those you know, personal interactions with people are tougher for me, but I found that like social media helps me relate, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm building trust and I'm relating to people that way. Um, and, and that's really been helpful, just sharing that journey every day um, authentically, you know, I'm building relationships that way. Um, I ran challenge groups and stayed present in the lives of my clients through the groups. Um, I have a Facebook group just for all my clients, my challengers, my, my personally sponsored coaches. I message them every day. That's worked really well to kind of build a community. Um, and I'm, I'm calling it a team now, <laughs> which I wasn't for a long time. I was just calling it a client group, but I'm, I am kind of calling it a team. Um, I invited and followed up using a system that worked for me, and that's kind of morphed throughout the year and a half. I read personal development. Um, I'm a big reader. I'm a librarian, so I have access to a big library of books, which is great. Um, I, I try and show up for training or at least listen to the recordings. Um, I really like to implement those time-saving strategies that Aaron and Erica and others have showed. And that brings me to um, my tangible tips for tonight are um, some practical tips for inviting. Um, I try and shoot for about 50 invites and and then follow-ups per week. That's like kind of my minimum. That, that I feel like that's a good number for me. If I do any less than that, I don't feel like I get as many conversations going. Um, so, so specifically, um, the basic system that I'm using, I'm, I've been using the same one since March, actually, the one that um, we talked about in the March Madness group, which was to do an initial invite using a very, very basic script, okay? You're just asking them whether they want information about your next challenge group. Then if they respond, um, I send them a link that I've created in a YouTube video that talks about what a challenge group is and how I can help them. Um, and that's been working really well for me. I probably need to go back and redo my video, but, um, it's, it's been great because people have responded very well to that and um, it feels very personal. And then I ask them after they do the video um, if we can schedule a follow-up phone call. And the phone calls have been huge for me um, actually since I started implementing that, mess, that um, method. Um, so yeah, and this year, um, you know, I've just been, you know, head down doing that and, and it's working really well for me. Um, so again, you know, my work is the same every day. I share my journey on Facebook. I stay on my own journey. Um, I, I run kick-ass challenge groups. Okay, challenge groups are a big deal. Um, and, and I love them. And, um, you know, you have to, to make sure that those challenge groups are great experiences for people because that's gonna help them get to their goals, but also it's gonna help you build your business. Um, also, I, I continue to invite people and follow up with them until they say yes to me or they tell me to leave them alone, okay, <laughs> even if it sounds kind of ad nauseum after a while. I mean, honestly, every few months, I'm messaging the same people over and over again in, in a row until I get a response. And eventually, you will get a response, whether that's yes or leave me alone, okay? Um, and, and, and there's a way to do it so that you're not trying to be annoying. Um, and, you know, I, I don't do it perfectly all the time, but. Um, so anyway, I think I'm probably about um, up here, but, um, you know, just rinse and repeat. That's what I'm doing. Um, so in conclusion, I know that what I'm doing now will have an impact next year, not next week. Um, and I'm glad and I'm, I'm okay with that because until then I'm enjoying the journey. I'm enjoying helping people. It's never easy, but it's always worth it. And, um, thanks for listening. So go get to work coaches and next year you'll thank yourself. That is perfect. Thank you, Amy. That is wonderful. So a couple of things I heard consistency, which we, we have heard all the time. But a couple things that were maybe unique that I think are interesting 
is that you have a Facebook group that's just for your coaches and your challengers. So people say yes to you and they're, they're in a challenge group, but, but you also have this like client base, which is your team of people that are clients. So they're always yeah. right there in one place. You can kind of stay in touch with them better. I yeah. And I, yeah, and I, mm -hmm. I consistently post in that Facebook group too. So like I will share recipes in there and that's like constantly going on, whether they bought a challenge pack or whether they're just, you know, they bought like, the 21 day fixed containers from me like six months ago. They're still in that group. Yeah. I think that's wonderful. And I think that is making you a very valuable asset to them, um, which makes what we do as coaches really unique and you've made it very tangible. I love it. And it's something that I've actually told my new coaches. I'm like, if I could go back and do some things all over again, that's the number one thing I would do. Is like as soon as somebody says yes to me in any way, shape, or form, they get put in this like group, like Aaron's Fit Club or something, you know. And it's and it's like ongoing, and they're always there, and they can access me, and they never can, we never lose track of each other, you know. I think it's I love that, but also with your invites and your follow ups, you say you're minimally sending fifty a week, and that's like your goal, and I love that that you have a number, it's tangible, and that kind of thing. Um, and you're sending an initial like generic invitation to people. They say yes, or they want more info. You're sending a video. And in this video, which I'm kind of, I mean, I kind of know what you're, you know, what it has in there, but it's kind of you saying, here's how I can help people. Here's how I can help you. This is how I serve others. And then based on that, the key it's different is that you're scheduling a phone call. What does that look like? Well, it basically you know, what I do is I kind of, you know, based on who I'm talking to and what I know about them, um, actually the Beachbody um, Coach Online Office has this health questionnaire thing that I printed out. So if I don't know the person real well, I'm kind of looking at these. I mean, I'm not going through every single question on here, but I kind of picked out a few just to kind of get an idea of, you know, their health issues and that sort of thing. Um, but then I kind of, you know, I ask about their goals and where they're headed and, you know, just kind of get to know them a little bit. And, and then that helps me recommend programs for them if they say yes, too. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing with the phone call. And then ask, you know, answering any questions that they have. Mm -hmm. um, so. That's great. Yeah, I think that's really, really valuable. And I think that even to hear you say that you get on the phone call with people, even as an introvert, is huge. Yeah, you know, it's hard, but you're brave on big time, you know, and that's cool because anytime I get someone on the phone, that conversation is so like, it's so valuable and it saves so much time on messenger back and forth. And it just allows you to really just help. And I think so much more effectively and efficiently. So I think that's great. So Amy, thank you. Good job, sister. That was awesome. Yeah, way to go. Okay, so next we have Erica Buzzard. So Miss Erica, you are not a stranger to our calls by any means, but I don't know how long it's been since you've really shared like how you got started in coaching, like how long you've been doing this. We are, we're always like four or five years, blah, blah, blah. You know, but how did you get started and what is it about coaching that's kind of like your favorite part where you find the most joy? And then well, on with your tidbit. <laughs> so happy to be with you guys tonight. So hi, hello, I'm Erica Buzzard. So excited to share a little bit of my heart with you guys tonight. And you know, I, I wasn't expecting these three questions, but I really love that Aaron asked them because it's always really exciting for me to think back to my journey and to think back to when I said yes to Aaron and I was so such a skeptic. I was so hesitant and there's lots of stories that go along with that, but I won't get into them tonight because I know I have limited amount of time. But I said yes to Aaron to a challenge group in October of 2012. So almost five years ago. I used my birthday money. I, you know, I didn't have the money at the time to, to spend on a challenge pack, but I used the birth, my birthday money and I, I made it happen because I wanted to give Shakeology a try and I was ready to be transformed. And so here comes December, 2012. I, I recognized the benefit of becoming a coach that I could get a discount. Cause again, I was on a teacher's salary. And so I was really excited to get that discount. And then January happened and I realized that I had the opportunity to create a challenge group and, um, and help, 
Natalie Johnson, my sister Renee Hart, um, Janelle Bunch, and Sarah Mischler. Those were my first challengers. And we just had the best time. And I really just, I was just really excited about helping people because as a teacher, I, I think I help people every single day as a teacher, but this was different because this was like my soul sisters and my, my actual sister and like my best friends. And so I quickly, you know, loved the like idea of helping people. And then also the supplemental income. I mean, at first it wasn't a lot of money, but it was enough for me to be able to like pay for Christmas in cash, which was something I'd never been able to do before. So like that was huge for me. And so that intrigued me. And those were kind of those like early, early wins for me. And then of course, watching my loved ones get transformations was, was definitely something that fueled my fire. I love coaching for so many reasons, but mostly because it's enabled me to create a life of freedom, truly a life by design. Um, I, you guys know some of my story over the last couple of years, but I truly believe that like without Beachbody, I would not be where I am today. I would not have been able to overcome a lot of the life hurdles that, that I did overcome in the, in the past few years, but it's given me a sense of purpose, like Amy said, and it's really allowed me to use a platform to serve other people and specifically women. And not only that, but to be the mom that I always wanted to be. So it's truly made all my dreams come true. And it's allowed me to dream way beyond anything I ever thought would be possible for my life. And certainly way beyond anything I would ever think would be possible by myself as a single mom to be able to accomplish. So I mean, it's been, it's been the greatest gift. And so, um, with that, I will kind of move forward. I mean, I've had a lot of experience. I've, you know, almost five years in the business, but it still feels so new and so fresh because it is constantly and ever evolving, which is a beautiful thing. But, um, but we also have to kind of, um, be flexible. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen lots of different changes, you know, happening just in your, your careers as Beachbody coaches. And Aaron and I, we talk about to what, when we first started about how little we knew, we, we, we knew nothing. We, you know, there was no tracking system. There was no, um, you know, um, power hour. I mean, we kind of made these things up as we went, but I will kind of get back to the basics today and tell you what's working for me. And, and it's not going to be, I don't think much of a shock, but it's, tr it's truly honing in on that power hour every single day. And to kind of reference kind of what I'm talking about here, um, Aaron, shared, I know on the team call last week, an um, awesome power hour sheet that, that she and I have been using. And it's, it's, I don't know if you can see it, but it is posted, I know, on all our team pages. This is a blank one. Um, this is mine for tomorrow. The only change I made was at the bottom where it says coaching opportunity, because I don't speak, I just don't speak about the coaching opportunity five times a day to five different people, because to me, I do the challenger to coach approach. And that's what's worked for me in my business. So instead of the coaching opportunity, I cross that out and I put thank yous because that's a huge part of what I um, am trying to do. I, I want people to know how grateful I am, you know, for them for supporting my journey and following my journey. So I do stick with that power hour sheet, but you'd think like, oh my gosh, Erica, you've grown this amazing business. And, and I truly have, and I truly do these power hour activities on a regular basis, but I'm going to be the first to tell you, I haven't been tracking them every single day consistently um, on a sheet of paper for five years. But for August, I committed to my team cup team and I said, I am going to fill one of these out every single day, every single day. And every single day I'm going to, to sit down and do an actual power hour on top of all the other things that I'm, you know, doing to run my business. And, and it's crazy. You wouldn't think an hour would be that pivotal, but I know you guys all can relate like that hour can easily get pushed off. And if there's like fires you're putting out as a busy mom or working outside the home or your kids are going back to school, like it's so easy to say like, Oh, I'll just do more tomorrow or I'll get to it later. And then later comes and, and you don't get to it. Right. But I've made it a priority to pencil in my power hour every single day and accomplish my power hour every single day, the traditional power hour with follow-ups, invites, friend requests. Um, hey girls, my vital behaviors, my post planner, checking in and all my groups. I mean, I'm doing it all, you know, and I'm really proud of it. And one last thing that I'll talk about so um, the happiness equation is a book that I've absolutely fallen in love with. And Aaron and David, you know, shared this with us at our retreat in Michigan. And it, it was just this book that's spoken so much to my heart. And um, I believe it's in that book, but um, Seinfeld is one of like the most famous, you know, um, influential comedians. And he has like one of the most popular sitcoms. And he was asked the question, like, 
how do you think you became so successful? Like, why is it that you're like the, the, the person who makes the most money in, you know, the entertainment industry and, and, you know, in comedy. And he says, because I work my craft every single day. And he says that he took a big calendar and he basically put an X on it every day that he intentionally worked on his, on his comedy. And so I thought, you know what, I think that would work really well for me. It kind of goes along with the whole idea of having a calendar, a workout calendar and marking off, you know, each day. And so what I've done in August is I've taken my calendar and instead of, I don't like red X's, <laughs> but I do like gold stars. So instead of red X's, I've just made in highlighter a gold star every single day when I've accomplished my power hour. So that has been actually, you know, a really cool accomplishment each day because Anybody who like lives life with me next to me, shares life with me, knows that I've been very adamant about getting these power hour in. You know, I'm like, guys, I gotta go. I, I'm sorry, but I have to go do this right now. You know, even in, in opportune times when it's like, I should just be living in the moment, but I'm like, no, I've committed to this and I'm going to do it. And to take it one step further, Erica, she's on the call right now. I don't know if Kimberly's on the call, but, um, and Kimberly Peterson as well, but we've been doing team power hours with our team cup team. And, and truly how it started was, you know, I just reached out to Erica, I reached out to Kim and I said, Hey girls, I'm going to do a power hour tomorrow at two. Do you want to join me? So we've been zooming together on our team calls, nothing fancy. I mean, we've just literally the four of us have sat down and worked our power hour together. Um, like every other day. And we just go through this, this sheet, we ask questions, we bounce ideas off of each other. You know, Erica will often say like, Hey, what do I do if this happens? Or how do I, you know, is there a challenge pack that comes with the performance and Shakeology? And we just talk. And it's been such an awesome way to build a community and to work together towards the common goal that we have on our team cup team. So back to the basics for me, that's what I have to share with you guys, but I highly recommend, you know, like Amy said, it's, it's not glamorous. It's not sexy, but it is consistency compounded over time that creates greatness in this business. So keep at it, get in that power hour, commit to a true power hour because it will be the game changer in your business. So that's what I have to share. That's what's working for me right now. But just thanks so much for, for listening. And you guys keep changing lives because you are making a difference in this world. For sure. Thank you. That was amazing. And it's so true. Like it's nothing new. So I think that if you guys go to the team, your team pages and you click on files, that's where you will find that power hour sheet. And if you have trouble finding it, you know, just make a post, let us know. But I mean, yeah, and thing two is like, let's just say, okay, so let's say this. Erica, you do your power hour every day for 31 days, right? And you're like SE8 at the end of the month, which is amazing, okay? But you're like, but I did this every day for 31 days. Shouldn't I have helped more people? Guess what's gonna happen in the next two to three months? Absolutely. Like she is creating so much momentum for the future of her business. That's the thing. It's the compound effect. Like what you do now is going to compound over time. Okay. So don't think that just because you talk to 10 people today, they're going to say yes tomorrow because that is not how it goes. Okay. So know that. So it's the work you do now. Okay. It's the positive habits, this, these basic vital behaviors that you create, make your habit right now that pay off over time. So I love that you shared that. And I think it's good to hear that like, I think a lot of times people might look at you, Erica, and be like, oh, people are just knocking down your door, ready to sign up for a challenge pack. And you're like, no, I'm still reaching out and meeting new people. I'm still inviting people. I'm still following up. I'm still doing those things. It's not like I'm running some magical ad on Facebook where everybody's just like coming in and signing up on their own without me talking to them, right? Absolutely. <laughs> not at all. You're still putting in the work. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay. So we are moving over. That was perfect. Jessica Johnson. Okay, Jessica, I hope that you are no longer shaking in your shoes because you should not be right now, okay? All right, so you guys, Jessica is has been a coach for maybe, what, one month, two months now, something like that. Like, you're, you're, she's a brand new coach, okay? But the thing about Jessica and why I invited her tonight is not only is she one of my coaches and I love her in pieces, but she was the very top of our success called Leaderboard last month as a brand new coach. Okay. And I think that's pretty cool. And I think that maybe like that hurts your ears a little bit, you know, like what is this new coach doing? Like, how did she do that in her first month? 
you know, and, and what is working for her? Because like you remember yourself as a new coach or maybe you're a new coach. Like I remember my first month as a new coach, I think I sold one challenge back. Right. And I, my challenge group had three people in it. Only one person bought something. So like she started off maybe a little bit differently than I did, you know, and she's doing things well. Um, and so just, I'm excited for you to take it over tonight. So go ahead, my friend, it's the floor is yours. <laughs> okay, well, I am kind of nervous because this is the first time that I'm speaking to you guys, but okay, so how I, when did I start? I started in July, um, and what made me say yes was, okay, so I'm a Pilates instructor, and I teach at the studio, so I wanted to be able to, you know, help more people outside of the studio. So I reached out to Aaron because I was actually falling apart myself because I was helping others and I wasn't helping myself at the studio. I was teaching all of these people, but I was not working out myself because when I'm with my clients, I, you know, they work out. I teach them how to work out. But when it comes to me at the end of the day, I wasn't, you know, I had no energy left and I, needed somebody to get me back on track. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it happened. So I reached out to Aaron and, you know, I, I don't know if I was kind of different, but I had already thought about how I wanted to be a coach versus, I don't know. I wanted that accountability, but I also knew that I wanted to coach too because I wanted to be able to um, reach people outside of the studio. You know what I mean? So I wanted to be able to, you know, help more people outside of the studio. So anyway, I reached out to Aaron and um, that's how I got started. Um, and what I'm loving about coaching is just being able to bridge the gap because once I have clients for an hour, maybe a couple times a week, maybe one time a week, they leave the studio and then, you know, I'm not able to help them until they come back. And I wanted to be able to, you know, help them with their nutrition, to be able to help them with, you know, their cardio because Pilates is not cardio. Um, so that is kind of my story. Um, what has worked for me, and honestly, I've started reading books a couple of years ago, but personal development has been like the biggest thing for me. That is your number one key. <laughs> like if you're not reading the books, you're shooting yourself in the foot. So you have to read the books. This one right here. Like you have to get this book, okay? You have to read it. Um, that is everything. Your mindset, you have to, I think last month, the reason why I sold nine challenge packs is because I was just so excited. And when you're excited about something and you're sharing that, you know, on social media, your pictures show, show it all. You know, when you're working out, you're taking pictures of yourself, you feel awesome. So, um, you know, just reading the books, the personal development, um, you know, just being excited naturally and then, you know, just showing the world how you're really feeling. I mean, that's, for me, that's what it's all about. Like, that's it. Like, yeah, I invite people, I've been inviting people like every day, like five time, five people every day. Um, I've been trying to use Instagram and Facebook. Um, when I message people, I try not to anymore, like ask them if they want to be a part of my challenge group. I say more like, um, you know, like try to find something to relate to them about like, oh, hey, you you know, that shirt's really cute or, you know, just like, Oh, your family pictures are really nice. Like who, you know, takes your pictures, just anything that you can relate to them about, or you can send them a compliment. Don't, you know, I try not to make it salesy nine times out of 10. I think now people just think that if you're like reaching out to them, that you want to sell them something. So I try to be genuine about how I approach people. And that's just kind of like 
how I've been um, for the last month or, well, a month and a half. I know I'm kind of all over the board, okay? So um, that is just kind of my approach. I am just getting started. Um, I, let's see, I have a free book club for personal development to try to find coaches. So I'm trying to like put that out there in the universe. Like, hey, who likes to read books like I do, okay? So if you like inspiring books, then you probably would want to do this kind of job because you like want more out of your life. Um, so that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, I also have a free seven day health and fitness kickstart group that I'm doing right now. Um, Erin suggested this because she saw it off of Micah Folsom's page where she, people that you don't really know what to do with, where they have financial problems or don't know how, don't, they want to do it. You know, they want to do the challenge pack, but they don't have the money or whatever kind of bullshit excuse. Sorry. Um, you put them into this group and then you keep them in that group of that seven day free challenge or free group. And then you just keep adding on to it. So I'm doing that. Just started that this week. And I don't know, just staying passionate and I'm excited. And you guys, here's the thing. I am so passionate about this that I honestly can say that at the and this like makes me want to tear up. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but at the end of every night, like, I really go to bed excited to wake up for the next day. Like, I put my heart into it, you guys, and I think that that is, like, the biggest thing. Like, if you really want to help people, then you'll do that. And, like, I never, I never wanted to get up early, ever. Okay? I teach early classes, and I never, I never wanted to get up early. And I do now. Like, I'm so excited to get up early and, like, do my thing and I go to bed every night and I can't wait to get up the next day and keep doing more and that is how you should feel about it in my opinion so there's my heart you go I'm done I love it you are so sweet like this is why you should be caught on this call tonight for sure Jessica and I think we get it too, because um, that's what we need about surrounding yourself with like-minded people. I mean, like I was getting up at 4 a.m. and everybody was like, what the heck is wrong with you? And you're like, because you do what you gotta do because you love it so much. And this is why you are gonna go places and anyone who says yes to you is so unbelievably blessed to be able to work with you because you care so much about them. And that's why you are like the perfect fit for this team because this is how we are, girlfriend. I am so proud of you. That was amazing. You are amazing. I love it, love it, love it. And, but you said something that I think a lot of people needed to hear because I think a lot of people push PD to the side. So it's kind of like Eric was like you're, with, with doing the power hour, you're like, ah, oh, get to it later. And they're like, eh, get to it later. But, you're, but you started PD even before you started as a coach. Okay, that's really special right there. And that, ha that made you want to start right off the bat as a coach, helping people because you already had this fire within you and you are so brave and fearless. Like, do you hear this girl? <laughs> like, can you imagine speaking on a team call your like second month in the business? Like this girl's bold and fearless and brave and she knows what she wants. And she has so much courage that she knows she can help people. And that doesn't happen just because it happens because she's been working on herself. She knows what she wants. So you guys, PD is so important. It gives you that, that courage, that confidence to be able to do this. And it makes you want to get up early. So Jessica, you are a freaking awesome rock star. I love it. Thank you so much. See, everybody connected with you. You've got all kinds of hearts and love coming in on the chat. So you need to check that out. That's amazing. Thank you so much, girl. Good, good job. Okay, Sarah, are you ready, my friend? 
Okay, Sarah Morris. All right, so Sarah Morris. Hey there. Are currently leading our SC leaderboards again and again and again. Okay, you are on fire. Okay, you're all dying to know, like, what is working for you. So give us a little bit of an intro and tell us what's working for you right now. Um, sure. Well, thanks for having me on the call. And I really love all the tips so far. And Jessica, thank you for opening your heart to us. That was really beautiful. Thank you. Um, I've been a coach since February. And as far as um, why I wanted to become a coach, there's so many reasons. But I think what happened was just, it was like I just found, like we say, I found our, my tribe, you know, and I found where I fit. And the support was so amazing. And my first challenge group that I was in with Megan was so incredible. And I was like, I can do this. I can run a group kind of like what Erica said. And you're like, I want to do this. This is fun. And, and to just start changing lives and, and just, you know, start, you know, pushing it out to other people and showing what I was doing and sharing it. It was just, it was just awesome. It felt really natural. So, um, sorry, I've got a little girl with a bellyache too, honey. Mom, can you go lay down for just a moment? Okay, go lay in the go lay in the bedroom. Okay, I'll be right there. Sorry. <laughs> um, so anyway, and then why do I love coaching now? I love everything about it. I mean, I love the community that we have. I love our products. I love working with my new coaches. I love working with new challengers. I just think it's all great. I love the company. I love everything about it. So. My tips um, that I have, what's working for me right now, it's a couple of really specific things, which go kind of along with what we've already heard, but um, what I wanted to, I was thinking about, okay, right now, where have my, my success club points from this month, where have they come from? And this kind of goes with what Amy was saying too. It's been a lot of follow-ups, a lot of foundation that was set um, just a few months ago or six months ago, it has been yeah, six months ago that, that um, I've got a follow-up hot list and it's my F-U-H-L and whenever I, whenever I talk with someone, you know, you can't use any tracking system, but I write their name on that hot list and I know that I'm going to follow up with them and I write a date next to it. It might, cause they might say, um, you know, I'm just not ready right now. I just started a new job, something like that, you know, so I'll think, okay, I'll give them like three weeks or a month and then I'm going to come back with them. So I've got actually went and got it. It's just like follow up hot list and I just keep a list and I write notes next to it. Um, but what I wanted to point out to you, maybe it's obvious, right? That you want to follow up with people, but I think sometimes we forget about those people that we want to follow up with after a few weeks or a few months. I think sometimes we invite somebody and then we get crickets. So we'll contact them like two days later. And then if they don't respond then or something, then we just, we're done or we, you know, they kind of, they're off of our list. And that's not necessarily the way that people digest what you're asking them to join you to do. <laughs> um, like, I think initially you ask somebody and they say, I'm not ready or not right now. It's not my budget, new job, whatever. From that point forward, they are watching you. They're watching you on your posts. They're watching you on Facebook. And they may not be commenting, they may not be liking, you may not hear anything from them for two months, but everything that you post and everything that you do, they might be saying, if you're sticking with it, you know, is this something you're really committed to? Why would I commit to somebody if I don't know if, if they've just started? You know, like we say, it takes three months sometimes for somebody, from the time you connect with somebody, for them to really start to trust you. Um, you know, and maybe they're seeing if you're for real, how sincere you are, you know, did you, were you salesy when you first invited them? So maybe they're like, I don't know if this person's really the one I'm going to connect with. You know, I've got eight beach body coaches in my newsfeed that I see every day. Um, you know, why should I do this person? Yeah. Megan just said, I follow, she followed up with me for four years and it's true. You've just got to keep those people on your list because if they don't just flat out say, you know what, leave me alone, go away lady. If they don't say that, then you know what? There's something in them that knows that they need it. And maybe they're just not there yet. So um, that's what I wanted to share. I've, I've got my hot list and I follow up with these people. And keep that in mind when you don't feel like, when you don't feel like posting one day or you think, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to take the weekend off. The weekend is when people are watching or there that's when they're scrolling on Facebook. Whenever you feel like you just want to take a step back, just post something, post something about what you're doing. It doesn't have to be deep thoughts by Sarah every day, you know, 
just people want to see who you are and what you're doing and they're watching you, okay? Um, that goes along with consistency and, and just making sure that, um, that you're showing up. Um, and that goes along with kind of on the other side, once they've said yes, this is my next um, point, is to be your best, the best challenger in your challenge group should be you and your coaches. Um, because that is the heart of, of how you're going to build your business. Um, you want to show up every day. You should be logging your psychology. You should be logging your workouts. You should be sharing information with them and motivating. Not just that. You shouldn't just do a morning post, but you show up and actually do the work. Because um, it was actually something Jericho said in the Court of Force training the other day about the live workouts. If you're not giving 150, 180 percent, whatever, in your live workout, then how can you expect the people that have come to work out with you to give 100%. It's the same way in your challenge groups. Um, so that really stuck with me when she said that, and I thought that applies to everything, right? But it really applies to our challenge groups. Um, and the other thing I've started doing, um, I try not to prejudge before I invite people, but um, I also, well, if it's somebody I'm not super familiar with yet and I wanna connect with them, I will definitely do a little preview in their Facebook page and get an idea, you know, is this somebody who's, who's got the right kind of attitude, who's got the right kind of spirit that I want to invite into my group, into my team? Is this somebody that my team is gonna benefit from, you know, as an addition with us? And I think that's become important to, as I start thinking about, um, you know, just building a team and what I want my team to look like and how I feel like my existing group is going to be, get to get results and feel great about where we're going. So that's something I don't, like I said, I don't prejudge, but like if I don't know somebody, but if I go to their Facebook page and it's just a bunch of negative stuff, um, you know, maybe that's coming from somewhere and they need help. But if it's just, you know, if, if I can just tell right off that this is somebody who's just not, you know, not, not in the right place, then, you know, I don't feel like we have to blast invite every single person that we connect with. So um, I think that's all I had. I think that's all I had. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. And I think that what you said was amazing. Your follow up hot list. That's a great tangible tip for everybody. And then, and just even the reminder that you send that message and you may not hear anything, but then they're watching. I love it. Cause it's so true. It's exactly what I think I did, you know, after my coach invited and I said no for a few months, I was like, what, wait, what are you doing? And I was, I started paying attention and I wanted to be a part of that. And I think that's what, I think that's what a lot of people are doing and being the best challenger. I think that, you know, a lot of times we get lazy in our challenge groups. We do, especially when you can, you can schedule your post and then you, you schedule it and then you're gone and you've got to be intentional about being present because that is where your team is being built is in your challenge group. Sarah, thank you so much. I'm sorry that your little girl's not feeling well and I appreciate you sticking it out with us this long. I totally do. That's so awesome. So you guys, okay, so our call is coming to a close. Thank you so much for staying on here for so long. I think this was extremely valuable to hear from our own coaches from all across the downline of what work is working for them right now of all different levels. So your job right now is to decide what you can do a little bit better. What are you doing right now that's working? Keep doing it. But is there something that you could be doing a little bit better tweaking based on what you heard from Amy and from Erica and from Jessica and from Sarah? Is there something there that you can implement into your business? Now, here's the big challenge, though, is not only to make a couple of tweaks and changes and brainstorm that and write it down, but start tomorrow, but share it with your team, share it with your coaches and say, here's what I need to do a little bit better. Will you guys join me? Because I will tell you what, if you have one coach on your team, you have two coaches on your team, whether they're working coaches or not, it doesn't matter. They're watching you and they're watching your lead. And so I think that's really important. So it is time to take serious, like massive action because we have half of the month left, which is a lot of time. And for whatever reason, I feel like that the end of the month and, and you wanting to hit your goals, it adds a little timeliness to it and it makes you be a little bit, maybe a little bit bolder, a little bit more fierce. Um, and I know that everything is going to fall into place the way it's supposed to, but it's about you putting that action into place. You guys, I'm all over it. I have not even come close to hitting my goals for the month, like not at all, but I still believe And there. are So you guys, every month I wake up on the first of the month, I'm like, I have no idea how it's going to work out. I have, it's not like I have people waiting. I say this all the time, but 
I know that if I just put my head down and I do the activities, everything that these guys have talked about tonight, I know it's going to happen. If I believe in myself, if I, if I have place value on what I can offer to people, if I never give up, if I'm relentless in the pursuit of reaching those goals, they happen and they always happen. You know, I've hit my goals for 56, 57 months in a row because every month I just do it no matter what. Okay. I've not run, I've not run out of people to talk to. I've heard so many no's this month, but I know that I'm going to hear just as many yeses. Okay. And it may not be tomorrow and it may not be the next day, but it's going to happen because I'm going to keep showing up. I'm going to keep showing up because I know if somebody says yes to me, their life will change. Right. I know if I connect someone to our solutions, that their life could change. So I'm not going to give up. I know that this team has a heart of gold and we want more than anything to help people succeed on this journey. So you guys don't give up. Implement something and be intentional about implementing something new, a new tweak into your business for the rest of the month that is going to help you end the month on top, hitting those goals. Okay. So you guys, that is all. I'll see you on the team page. I'll upload this recording probably tomorrow since it's 10 o'clock at my house right now. And I'm just so thankful for you for being here in our next team call is September the 5th. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. And for all of our, our, our speakers tonight, you guys were amazing. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much.